you know, I, yeah, I'll let him know. <laughs> I, Kurt, no, I did not get them to, to, to done. I will get them done. Oh. So as soon as I can, I'll get them to you. Yes. Maybe, and, uh, maybe by tomorrow night? Yes, 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 yeah, good. There's no class tomorrow night, but there is a voters but meeting. there's a voters yeah, Yes, I will have them for seven, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, um, so I will So you're just going to call us up, and then we just got to read from the... Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you the answers. Okay. I'll tell you. It'll be pretty simple. Okay. What, what page is it on? It's... Oh, is it in here? I don't even know if it's in here. I don't think it's in here. Oh, it's not in there? Okay. No. All right. But I'll give you the, I'll, I'll give you the, it's pretty simple. I didn't mean to no, you didn't. It, it was in the bulletin. Yeah. I totally forgot that it was in the bulletin. Okay. okay. So glad you reminded me. <laughs> now I have the book up there. Now I'll do it. I mean, with all the festivities yesterday. You know, well, and I just, I just got rid of a headache oh. like this morning. So I'm, I'm feeling much better. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling normal. Good morning, morning, morning. Good. Yeah, Tim is going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, morning. Good to see you. Oh, good, good. All right. If she looks like you, I'll, I'll, I'll know who she is. It'll be good. Wonderful. Good to see you, Eli. Should work. No go.
No go. Okay. That's all right. It doesn't like the time change either. We'll just blame it on that. Good morning. We have a new system, so the button's in the back now for my mic. So, um, Bells didn't like the time change either this morning, so we're going to blame it on that this morning. So, uh, Lord's blessings to you this uh, the uh, ob observation of All Saints Day, which was on Nove November 1st, uh, transferred to today. Uh, a couple of notes for the service. Uh, we will be receiving new members, uh, the Miley's, uh, Kurt and Elsie will be received into membership here from uh, Pilgrim and West Bend. And we also then will have the uh, observation and recognition of those who have fallen asleep in the Lord uh, since last All Saints uh, Sunday, and they are in your bulletin. If you do not have this, please uh, find somebody who does. Uh, this will be the prayers of the church for today. And so at that time, uh, we'll, we'll be standing and, and recite the, those prayers at the time. When we get to the reading of the names, I'll read the names and the date, uh, and then the, the bell in the narthex will be rung, and there will be uh, moments of silence between each name. Other than that, everything else is, is printed in the bulletin, and so we begin with Divine Service Setting 3 and the bells and our opening hymn. A multitude comes from the east and the west to sit at the feast of salvation with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob the blessed, obeying the Lord's invitation. Have mercy upon us, O Jesus. O God, let us hear when our shepherd shall call in accents persuasive and tender that while there is time we make haste one and all and find him our mighty defender. Have mercy upon us, O Jesus. All trials shall be like a dream that is past, forgotten of trouble and mourning. All questions and doubts have been answered at last when rises the light of that morning. Have mercy upon us, O Jesus. The heavens shall ring with an anthem more grand than ever on earth was recorded. The blessed of the Lord shall receive at his hand 
not crowned to the victors of war did. Have mercy upon us, O Jesus. We stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the, our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. O oh, Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities, with which I have ever offended you, and justly deserve your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them, and sincerely repent of them, and I pray you of your boundless mercy, and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death, of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this, your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the Word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in this stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me. For you are my rock and my fortress, and for your name's sake you lead me and guide me. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, good will toward men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. 
thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you knit together your faithful people of all times and places into one holy communion, the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant us so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that together with them, we may come to the unspeakable joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The first reading for the Feast of All Saints is written in the Revelation of Jesus Christ according to St. John, the seventh chapter. Then I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun with the seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm earth and sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, or the sea, or the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of the sealed, 144,000 sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. 12,000 from the tribe of Judah were sealed, 12,000 from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 from the tribe of Gad, 12,000 from the tribe of Asher, 12,000 from the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 from the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 from the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 from the tribe of Levi, 12,000 from the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 from the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 from the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin were sealed. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these, clothed in white robes? And from where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve Him day and night in His temple. And He who sits on the throne will shelter them with His presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. The epistle is written in St. John's first letter to the church, the third chapter. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has, yet, has not yet appeared. But we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him, because we shall see Him as He is. And everyone who thus hopes in Him purifies himself as He is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand. Oh, yeah. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up, up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. We confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and a life of the world to come. Amen.
for all the saints who from their labors rest. Hold thee by faith before the world confess thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Was their rock, their fortress, and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain, in the well-fought fight. Thou, in the darkness, drear their untrue light. Alleluia, Soldiers faithful, true, and bold Fight as the saints who nobly fought of old And win with them the victor's crown of gold Alleluia, alleluia Bless communion, fellowship divine. We feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one, in me for all are thine. Alleluia, alleluia. And when the fight is fierce, the warfare long Steals on the ear the distant triumph song And hearts are brave, again and arms are strong Alleluia, Alleluia. The golden evening brightens in the west. Soon, soon to faithful warriors cometh rest. Sweet is the calm of grace and eyes of blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. But lo, there breaks a yet more glorious day. The same triumphant, rise in bright array. The King of glory passes on his way. Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated. When the waters of holy baptism flowed over your heads, the life we now live was forever changed. Because what we thought we had 
was not real. It was not true. We were not actually alive as we imagined, not even in the slightest. In sin were we conceived in our mother's wombs, which means we were in fact dead on arrival, dead in our trespasses and sins. In holy baptism, we were changed, all of us, from dead to alive. And so we now find ourselves alive. What a blessing indeed. This gift of life, this washing of new birth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, makes us new. We are now different. What was lacking in us is now restored. The image of God by the Holy Spirit is conceived in us. Jesus, the image of God, is born in us. And so the old Adam is no more. We, that old Adam who thought himself alive, no longer holds sway. His lie is silenced. The truth, Jesus Christ, now lives in us. Everything for us is now inextricably connected, bound up in Him, in Jesus, who changed everything. He indeed turns everything upside down, or rather, right side up. Consider what St. Matthew records for us in today's Gospel. He records Jesus' words to his disciples just before preaching his Sermon on the Mount. Jesus, to his select disciples, lays out in vivid yet shocking images who is blessed by God. He reveals what it looks like to be blessed. He stuns the reason and senses of us all. His list doesn't seem right. Blessed are the poor in spirit, those who mourn, the meek, the hungry and thirsty for righteousness, the merciful, the pure in heart, the peacemakers, the persecuted, the reviled, cursed, libeled and slandered. The wisdom of God, you see, is foolishness to man, to that old evil foe and the world. In baptism. It is true that the old man in us all is drowned to death and that a new man emerges and arises to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. But it is also the case that the old man is a good swimmer who, even while dead, believes he's not dead. He is entirely hell-bent on not going quietly into the night. He daily seeks to overthrow the strong man, Jesus, The temple of the Holy Spirit, swept clean and washed in the Lamb's blood, is bombarded incessantly. If only the old man was not alone, or was alone in his madness. No, he is not alone. He has others. The devil is just as delusional as the sinner in us all. He thinks he's got a chance. He believes his own lies. It's only a flesh wound. I'll get better. It's time. His time is finished, however. But like a rat trapped in a corner, he's not about to go out without trying to take as many with him as possible. His time is short and his campaign merciless. He attacks and strikes. He finds a willing accomplice as well as an immovable force all in one in us. His tactics must be twofold. He must puff up the dead man, making him think that he's alive when he's actually dead, and then also then to weaken the living new man. And so he attacks. Blessed is the strong in spirit, those who celebrate the bold, the full, and quenched in one's own righteousness. Blessed is the merciless. The discontent, ambitious heart is blessed as well. The devil's advocate, not the peacemaker. Blessed is the left alone, the unafflicted, the unpersecuted. No, these are not the truth. But the devil entices the flesh with these lies. He convicts and convinces us that being blessed is about us 
and what we think is best for us. This is not the baptismal life, however. Remember, baptism changed us. We now have life, but life only in Jesus. This reality is hated, loathed by the enemy. He will and does attack. The blessed are blessed as they are in Jesus. You are in Jesus, baptized into his most holy name. The devil, the world, and the flesh attack Jesus, in whose name you dwell. And as Jesus is attacked, so are you. What a blessing indeed. For you in this flesh suffer much, but you suffer as you are in Jesus. Jesus did not go through this life as the perfect Son of God without being attacked himself. And so these words that he tells the apostles, the disciples that, that afternoon, he says as he is speaking of himself. Jesus is the blessed one in whom we are baptized. And because we are in him, what we experience is a result of what he has done for us. The poor in spirit need Jesus because they are not strong. The apostle says, in my weakness, he is made strong. The poor are blessed because the poor in spirit are blessed because they need Jesus and have him. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We need him. We who mourn for our own selves, for our sinful situation, are comforted with the blessings of forgiveness, life and salvation that are given to us in our baptism where we receive Jesus, the one who gives us resurrection, who takes our death and destroys it in himself. He is given to the meek, those who claim nothing for themselves but only what Jesus has done. And as he is King and Lord of heaven and earth, we who are in him receive everything because he, like a lamb led to the slaughter, goes to the cross, meekly. He goes willingly to die for us, to give himself for us. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. That is, those who are not content and on their own righteousness. They lack what is necessary they must be fed from outside of themselves. They must drink from the well that is Jesus. And he indeed satisfies. He is also the merciful one who does not give us what we deserve, but withholds what we deserve and takes it on himself. In its place, he gives us what we don't deserve. He gives us eternal life. We give, he gives us his mercy. He purifies our sinful hearts. He forgives us that heart which would have its own way. For out of the heart come many evil desires, murders, and, and sins. It must be cleaned, cleansed with the washing of new birth and renewal of the Holy Spirit. The heart of stone must be crushed and swept out and replaced with the heart of flesh that beats for Jesus, that sees him in faith, that sees the God who loves them, which we do. We have that Jesus, and he comes to bring peace to those who are not at all at peace, those who are troubled by their sins, by the world and the devil's attack. Jesus brings peace. He does not play the devil's advocate. He does not stir the pot in his anger, even though he would be just to do so. Instead, he does what he only can do. 
he dies for the sins of the world. And in so doing, in dying for you and me, and then washing us, connecting us to his sacrifice, he adopts us. He makes us his dear children as sons, inheritors of paradise. And for all of this, we will be persecuted. We will be attacked. Because in the gifts given to us in Jesus, in our baptism, we are made alive. And the devil cannot and will not let that stand. The flesh will not let that stand. The world will not let that be. And so when these things happen to us, we are to indeed count ourselves as blessed. Blessed for Christ's sake. Because in the end, the things for which we are being attacked are the very things that overcome the world, the devil, and even our own flesh. For what Jesus accomplished for you and for me on the cross is the only weapon, the only defense we need. For in his sacrifice on the cross, he takes away our sins. He takes away the ammunition that would be used against us. He takes away our death, the thing that we fear, and he gives us life eternal. He gives us the promise of the resurrection, the promise that our loved ones who have gone before us now enjoy, who have grabbed hold of Jesus as they are baptized in his most holy name. And he has met the task. He has done what is necessary. He has given it to you as well. And so this day, as we gather around Jesus and his very body and blood, as we receive the forgiveness of sins as proclaimed through those men, through your pastor who has been given the authority to speak on Christ, in Christ's stead, you, you are included with the whole company of heaven here and now. You are alive and will never die again. Those who are with Christ this day in paradise are not dead. They have not departed from us, but are gathered around the throne of God where Jesus is. There, Jesus is their focal point. Their attention is on him just as it is for us here the blessed one is the one to whom we turn to this day. And as we gather around the altar this day, we are never alone. Jesus is there along with the heavenly host, all the angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven. And so the loved ones that we so dearly miss are with us here and now. We need not be afraid we need not be mournful as those who have no hope. No, we mourn with the hope that we indeed will see our loved ones, as we see, we'll see Jesus, and we are ever united with them in this time and space, here in this place, gathered around the altar, around the throne. And so we are indeed blessed. Blessed to receive Jesus and live from him all the days of our life. In Jesus' name, amen. We stand for prayer. Now the peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
Miley's come forward. Beloved in the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said to his apostles, Whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Lift up your hearts, therefore, to God, the God of all grace, and joyfully give answer to what I now ask you in the name of the Lord. Do you this day in the presence of God and this congregation acknowledge the gifts that God gave you in your baptism? If so, answer, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways? If so, answer, yes, I renounce them. Yes, I renounce them. Do you believe in God, do you believe in God the Father Almighty, in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, and in the Holy Spirit? If so, yet, answer, yes, I believe in God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do you hold all the prophetic and apostolic scriptures to be the inspired word of God and the doctrine of the evangelical Lutheran church drawn from them and confessed in the small catechism to be faithful and true? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you intend to hear the word of God and receive the Lord's Supper faithfully? If so, answer, I do by the grace of God. I do by the grace of God. Do you intend to live according to the word of God and in faith, word, and deed, to remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even to death? If so, answer, I do, by the grace of God. I do, by the grace of God. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this confession and church, and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it? If so, answer, I do, by the grace of God. I do, by the grace of God. Do you desire to become a member of this congregation? If so, answer, I do. I do. Will you support the work of our gracious Lord, uh, that our gracious Lord has given this congregation with your prayers and the gifts God has given you? If so, answer, I will, with the help of God. I will, with the help of God. Upon this, your confession of faith, I acknowledge publicly that you are members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church and of this congregation. Receive the Lord's Supper and participate with us in all the blessings of salvation that our Lord has given to his church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We all stand. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your great goodness in bringing these, the, these your sons and daughters to the knowledge of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and enabling them both with the heart to believe and with the mouth to confess his saving name. Grant that by your word and spirit, they may continue steadfast in one true faith in the fellowship of this congregation, as together we await the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. Amen. Amen. You may return to your seats. We continue with the prayer for uh, all saints. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace that is from above, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, for all those who in faith, piety, and fear of God come to receive his gifts and praise his name, let us pray to the Lord. For Matthew, our synod president, and John, our district president, for Dustin, our pastor, and those who serve us here, for all godly pastors, teachers, 
and for all the people of God who serve God and neighbor in their various vocations, for our synod and our sister churches. Let us pray to the Lord. For all missionaries and workers of mercy at home and abroad, for our own schools, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our nation and all our people, for our president and Congress, our governor and legislature, our judges and magistrates, and all who serve in public office, for our police officers, firefighters, and emergency workers, for our military personnel at home and abroad, for those who suffer from legalized abortion in our nation, for children, mothers, and medical professional personnel, for fathers, siblings, and grandparents, and for us all who live in such evil days, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the sick and the sorrowing, for those who mourn, for those in need, of distre- need and distress, for all pregnant women, and those who pray for a child, for the homebound and infirm, especially those for whom we pray, our prayers have been asked this day, especially Dolores Luger, recovering from a fall, and Tom Miller as he prepares for a procedure. Also for all those who we now name in our hearts. For those to whom death is drawing near, and for us all, that when our last hour shall come, we may depart this life in the confidence of a sure faith, the consolation of a right, devout, and holy hope, and in the communion of the Holy Church of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. I heard a voice from heaven say, Write, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord henceforth. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. Let us remember with thanksgiving those who have gone before us with the sign of faith, for they were redeemed by God. He gave them new life through His Son in holy baptism. He nourished them in the company of His people at this holy table. In His mercy and wisdom, He summoned them to His nearer presence, so that they may rest in his blissful peace forever. Arno Jobs, November 3rd, 2021. Gerald Clanky, November 18th, 2021. George Ann Spencer, February 20th, 2022. Janet Miley, March 20th, 2022. Gary Baylor, June 24th, 2022. In joyful expectation of the resurrection to life, we remember before you, O Lord, all our departed kin and friends who have gone before us in in the faith. We offer thanksgiving for the gift of faith and hold fast to the certainty of your promises. We implore you, remember your church throughout the world. Make all its members grow in love for you and for one another. As you, have rece- as you have received our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life, bring us at last with them into the light of your presence, that in union with all your saints we may give you glory forever. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift 
let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. In the communion of all your saints, gathered into the one body of your Son, you have surrounded us with so great a cloud of witnesses that we, encouraged by their faith and strengthened by their fellowship, may run with perseverance the race that is set before us, and together with them receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The body of Christ, 
given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Now the true body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you in the one true faith throughout this life and a life to come. Depart in God's peace. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. the true body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to strengthen and preserve you in the one true faith for this life and the life to come. Depart in God's peace. Your sins are forgiven.
Amen. the true body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be strengthened and preserved for the rest of the day. And this life and life to come. The fire of God's peace and your sin and God will hear me. thou thy servant depart in peace. 
according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Allah, I do light in the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good let us pray we give thanks to you almighty god that you have refreshed us through this salutary gift and we implore you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another through jesus christ your son our lord who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever the lord be with you Bless we the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Behold a host of red in white, like thousand snow-clad mountains bright. With palms they stand, who is this band before the throne of life? These are the saints of glorious fame Who from the great affliction came And in the flood of Jesus' blood Are cleansed from guilt and shame they now serve God both day and night. They sing their songs in endless light. Their anthems ring as they all sing with angels shining bright. Despised and scorned, they sojourned here, but now how glorious they appear. Those martyrs stand of priestly band, God's throne forever near. On earth they wept, through bitter years, now God has wiped away their tears, transformed their strife to heavenly life, or free them from their fears. They 
may now enjoy the Sabbath rest, the heavenly banquet of the blessed. No lamb their Lord at festive board, himself his host and guest. Most blessed saints in bright array, now safely home, home in endless day. Extol the Lord, who with his word sustain you on the way. The steep and narrow path you trod, you told and sowed the word of oh God. Rejoice and bring your fruits and sing before the throne of God. The myriad angels raise their song, O saints, sing with a happy throng. Lift up one voice, let heaven rejoice, in our Redeemer's song. You may be seated. Lord's blessings to you again this morning, this All Saints Sunday. Uh, the next three sun, or well, two Sundays. Uh, if it wasn't for All Saints today, this would be the third to the last Sunday of the church year, so we're coming down to the end of the church year, and so the themes that we'll be reflecting upon are the end days, the last days, um, as we look forward to uh, Advent, and then the coming of our Lord in His first coming in His nativity. Uh, so the calendar is as, uh, there is no Wednesday night service, or Wednesday night Old Testament catechesis tomorrow, but there is a voters meeting. Today, uh, for the Bible study time, there will be an informational meeting uh, uh, before that, uh, giving you the budget and uh, giving you opportunity to, uh, to reflect upon that before the voting on that budget for tomorrow. Also, I will have a brief um, update on where we are in the process of starting the school here at St. John's or in Port Washington, um, along with uh, Pilgrim West Band and St. John Fredonia. So uh, stick around for that. There is no Sunday school this morning, uh, but if they have a little, couple of little ones, there'll be uh, people down, uh, down the hall. Uh, just uh, watch while we uh, conduct our business at the meeting this, uh, this morning. Uh, are there any other announcements at this time besides that? Yes, Diane. Yeah, the, the food pantry is going to be needed more and more over the coming days and, and months. So uh, if you have anything, if you would like to please grab uh, a tag up there for things to get for the food pantry, that would be greatly appreciated, especially in, yes, in the bulletin and especially in this coming uh, holiday season as we uh, gather for, with family that they might have enough uh, for their own families. Um, yes, Deb. Yes, again, thank you for everybody who helped out yesterday. It was a, a huge success, um, and thanks be to God. The, the power stayed on except for that little blip at the beginning, 
which terrified me immensely. Uh, uh, though we probably could have hooked up the hose for the, the pipe organ and just shoved it out the window uh, and uh, made, made that work. But um, uh, thanks be to God. And then, of course, when you get, we got home last night about a quarter to nine. The power went out until about a quarter to seven this morning. So um, when you're used to a, a noisy house at night with a fan window, it is eerie sleeping in a dead silent house, I can tell you. Um, and uh, so, thanks be to God, the lights went on, and they were on this morning. I was imagining doing a very intimate service uh, up front and just in the, kind of in the dark, um, but, uh, and singing a cappella, which would have gone so well, I'm sure. So, but no, I, uh, thanks be to God that uh, uh, these resources were available for us this morning. Uh, seeing no other announcements, uh, may God keep you safe in the palm of his hands until we meet again. God bless.